Changing self-perception. In order to change what's happening on the outside, you have to change what's happening on the inside. Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Welcome to today's video. It's going to be short and sweet because it's really important. There's a saying, you gotta want it. If you don't want it bad enough, it's not going to happen. You have to fully commit to the process or there will always be an excuse. There seems to be a switch I can flip in my head that allows me to go full speed ahead toward whatever the goal once I've fully committed to the process. For me, it's reward based, so I have to clearly choose which reward I want fully invest in it and make whatever sacrifices are necessary without looking back. You have to give something in order to get something, right? If I can do it, so can you. Here's an example. How committed are you to not touching a hot stove? Pretty committed, right? There's no positive outcome to touching a scalding hot surface and the reward for not doing so is not getting burned. A clear choice and outcome. Now, clearly the dynamic shifts when you have a choice between two things that you want, especially if the choice lies between instant gratification and delayed gratification. Say, dropping 10 pounds for your health or eating your favorite not so healthy food that's sitting right in front of you. Not so clear a choice now, is it? My Jersey Barrier analogy. Are you familiar with Jersey Barriers? They are those segments of cement wall that are sometimes put to the side of the freeway or the highway, often when there's construction. They can be a little scary to drive next to when they're placed right at the edge of the lane with what appears to be virtually no shoulder. If you're driving along with the attention on not hitting them and giving them the side eye, it can really freak you out. But there's a trick to driving next to them with far less difficulty. You have to ignore them. If you keep your eyes down the road where you're going, centering yourself in the lane, they fall away from view. Just look where you're going, as opposed to where you don't want to go. Try it next time you encounter them. You're welcome. So, speaking of looking where you're going, you can see where I'm going with this, right? You have to fully commit to the destination and keep your eyes on the intended outcome. You must wholeheartedly choose. If you're still seeing the obstacle or the temptation, you're not focused on the true reward. How do I know? Jersey barriers. You can't look in two places at the same time. Say you're overspending, swimming in debt, stressed out all the time, and you're really sick of it. You want to get out of debt, do it as quickly as possible, and set yourself up for a long-term savings plan so you never have to feel this way again. But wait, you see this super cute dress that you just have to have. Seriously? If your house was on fire, do you get out and call 911? Or do you decide you'd like to stop first and toast a marshmallow? Buying that dress or anything else that isn't life-sustaining should seem as ridiculous to you as making s'mores at a house fire. That's setting priorities. Once you become wholly invested in your chosen outcome, the distractions will fall away from view and disappear. If they don't, you're not fully committed. It's truly that simple. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, share, comment, let me know how you're feeling in the comments below and consider subscribing. I would love it if you would please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.